Hey there, folks. I just want to do a, a quick video on uh, my lady, uh, latest pimp from uh, from uh, Menavade. Um You guys have seen this already on his um, channel, but I haven't done a video on it already. But uh, <coughs> I just wanted to show you guys the detailing that Nick put into this uh, scale. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so you can see he used C-Tech, which I requested. Uh, and the pimpers out there know that c -Tech is very difficult to work with. It's very brittle. Um, it's not as strong as G10. Uh, to be able to to basically carve out this this scale to this spec, to the shape of this uh, knife it is amazing feat in itself. Um, so if you can see, he did the, you saw in this video, he, he did this uh, blood drip thing. You see how, I mean, it's, you can feel, it's actually acts as a grip when you hold the knife. You can see the detail there. How it's above the, the G10, the black silhouette of the G10, and then he drizzles it over also on the c -Tech. I mean, his work is just precise. I mean, look at the jimping over here. It's just precise. Um, I believe he also put a little orange in here. If, I don't know if you guys can see it in the background. It's like red C Tech with like orange behind it. Uh, well, as with all his work, you know, it's perfect. The action's perfect as I had it before, you know. Uh, centering, no issue. So nothing's changed. Basically, it's perfectly centered. Um, you know, he's, he's very professional in his work. Um, yeah, so I requested this. Uh, this this was uh, actually uh, I requested this a while ago, but and then uh, you know he got Nick got his you know his uh, work and uh, it was actually put on standby, which was fine because I I didn't mind waiting for it because I I, you know, I knew it was gonna be great. I didn't know it was gonna be epic. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that because uh, at first glance uh, most people don't really see it. It's almost like like an uh, impressionist art, you know. You look at it, it's like, oh yeah, it's uh, it's got this red seat tag, it's got the blood, that's obvious, and it's got this silhouette. Like when I first showed it to my girlfriend, she didn't really understand what it was, and then she actually thought it was a MMA guy laying across. But as if you look at it, it's uh, I mean, you've seen a couple of videos already. Uh, Gavco was showing it off yesterday at the barbecue. And Nick did his video, but you see it's a silhouette of a guy. Here's his head, here's his elbow strike, and here's the the knee strike, and his leg down here. I mean, my draw job when I saw this. You know, it was just, did I say my draw job? <laughs> my my jaw drop when I saw this. It was it was just very impressive. Um, I'm not sure if. Nick's taking orders right now, but uh, I mean, you guys can hit him up. Uh, you come up with the idea, the concept, and he'll make it reality. And that's really it in, in simple terms. He, um, and again, I had this idea to make like a, a UFC type uh, scale, um, and he just blew it away with with his work and his imagination. This is n nothing like I could have came up with. Um, I wanted the C-Tech because um, I wanted it to like basically look like a cage. You know, if you guys are into the UFC, it looks like the cage. So I wanted him to use C-Tech for that reason. And then I sent him a couple of images of like MMA fighters and there was a few of them. This actually wasn't my first choice, but now that I see it, this fits perfect with the size of the, the scale. So, you know, he's got the vision. Actually, I had the vision. He made it reality. And then, of course, with his vision, I mean, I didn't ask for this blood drizzling thing. I said, could you put a little blood on it? And um, I didn't think it was going to be like like a 3D effect like this. So it's amazing. He does amazing work. I, I mean, every pimp he makes just gets better and better. Uh, when I saw that one with the skulls, you might have seen it. I had it at the uh, East Coast uh, Custom Knife Show. 
I saw it at first. I think I saw it first on Knife Thursday, and then he told me, "Wait till you see yours." And I'm like, "Nah, no way he can top that skull thing." And I think he did. I, I think he did. Phenomenal, phenomenal. So check out his channel if you guys don't know already. And um, I don't know. Send him a PM. See if you need something pimped. I mean. You know, it makes me less hesitant to buy like a knife with a scale that I'm not too crazy about, like that Southern, you know, because I know that Nick could just do something incredible with it. So maybe the Southern. I hate that brown G10 crap on it. But uh, um, just want to thank Jeff for being such a gracious host yesterday at, at his home. Uh, great barbecue. Brian, who did most of the cooking. I'm sorry, Brian and Mike Gavko, who did most of the cooking. Great, great, great. Uh, they were great hosts themselves. Uh, Vance was also there. He was awesome, welcoming us, us into his home. And, um, you know, just everybody else that was there. Oh, and uh, Sebastian Sebo Strip, another gentleman. I might actually do a video on my... Uh, I got a couple of... Um, uh, Bradley, Bradley Kimura Bally's. Uh, I know Sebastian's into that, and uh, he was he was curious to see what I had. So maybe I'll bang out a quick vid on that just to show you the different ones I have. Um, all right, folks. Um, thanks for all my new subs. Uh, I don't know after the show, a few people sub. Thank you. I appreciate it. I uh, hope you enjoy my videos, and I enjoy making it for you guys. All right, peace.